Oh man, it feels so good. We won, we did it. We beat Evil Berwin. It was a victory for the auditing community led by Sean Paul Reyes, Long Island Audit, and a defeat for the city of Berwyn, Illinois, and state's attorney, Alyssa Dunbar. They lost. The tyrants lost. They lost. There's nothing they can do. The tyrants lost. The case dates back to November 8, 2021. This should be a good one. No cameras or recording devices without prior approval. Reyes filmed in Berwyn's City Hall. This is the mayor's office. Mayor Robert J. Lovero. City Administrator Ruth Siaba Green lashed out. On our doors, we have a sign that says, no recordings are allowed unless we give permission. I, I am not giving you permission. I did, it is a state law. I did see, I did see that sign. And then we and follow state law here. It's a state law. It is. Yeah. Okay, so Can we talk outside. Berwyn police officer Robert Monaco, whose ignorance included not knowing how to wear a COVID mask, guided Reyes down the hallway. Okay. Um. So, so, sir, just um. For for what, sir? I'm not done conducting my business here. They they don't want you recording upstairs, so we're not going to record upstairs. Okay. But but, sir, this is open to the public. This is not a restricted area. Can I speak to a supervisor? He's on his way right here. Oh, okay, great. That police supervisor, Sergeant Volante, guided Reyes towards a clerk where Reyes filed a Freedom of Information Act request. At this desk, so I'm going to come help you. Sure, sure, yeah. This part gotcha. is for me to complete just so that we can log it in. Once the clerk and Reyes were done. Thank you so much, Margaret. I really appreciate you. you Thank care. you. Sergeant Volante then told Reyes to leave the building. Because some of these people don't want to be. Do you want to be recorded by a gentleman? Uh, the Do you want this guy to record you? No. Are you sure? <laughs> it's a public building. Why would Some anybody care? Some people just don't like to be recorded for no reason. I mean, would there's, cam like there's cameras all over the place. Come on. <laughs> Outside, while the humiliated sergeant detained Reyes and called other police supervisors for guidance, Officer Monaco went hands-on. You don't want me recording you? Yeah, I mean, it's it's my rights, just like you're saying, you know. Don't touch yeah. me. Don't so touch me. I, I don't want you. Don't touch me. What are you doing? Don't record me. What's wrong with you? I'm don't not, touch me. I'm not touching you, am I? Yeah, you did. You just grabbed my arm and grabbed my camera. To stop you from recording. To stop me from recording you. Moments later, the police arrested Reyes. You can keep the phone. Have your other hand, please. All right. Initially, Reyes was charged with violating Illinois surveillance law, a felony. After review, the city changed the charge to disorderly conduct. All you guys who were interested, I got my stuff back, which is a good thing. Legal experts warned the city and the state's attorney that the prosecution was absurd and that Reyes had grounds for a civil lawsuit. Still, with the encouragement of Mayor Robert Lavero, State's Attorney Alyssa Dunbar pressed forward. This is not a normal trial. We all know this. They're trying to attack me, trying to attack all of us, we the people, the Constitution, the First Amendment. When the trial began, a State's Attorney prosecutor for Dunbar asked Judge Stanley Hill to suppress Reyes's City Hall incident video. The judge refused. Motion denied to suppress the video evidence of my disorderly conduct, which... You know, as my lawyer said in court, Jim, Jim said in court, uh, that's really suspect that they wouldn't want the video of the crime to be admitted in as evidence. But anyway, that was our first win. Then with a news camera person in the courtroom, the judge agreed with Reyes's lawyer, Jim Jenks, to allow the trial to be recorded. And the judge is like, I don't care. I'm on Zoom with 200 people right now. What does it matter if they record it and make a record of it? But by all accounts, the state attorneys, along with Berwyn city officials, flipped out. I go outside to speak with some of the supporters. I go outside the courtroom. My lawyer comes out and they're like, they're, they're dismissing the case because they're recording it. <laughs> it ended by a camera. It started because a government employee, a government public servant, our public servant didn't want to be recorded. And I got arrested and my freedom taken from me. And it ended because the mayor, Mayor Robert Lavero, the city administrator, Ruth Siaba Green, it ended because they didn't want to be recorded. <laughs> they, they didn't want to be recorded yet again in a courtroom, and the judge wasn't protecting them, so they decided to dismiss the case.
<laughs> you can't make up the irony. An embarrassing irony for the defeated Berwyn, Illinois, and a potentially huge career setback for state's attorney, Alyssa Dunbar. Alyssa Dunbar, I hope you never go into private practice. This is gonna follow you. You Google Alyssa Dunbar's name, my video pops up. <laughs> She's gonna be in the state's attorney's office for a while. Ah, oh, you tyrants. This is also not a good look for Berwyn Mayor Robert Lavero. Mayor had a smile on his face walking in and then not so much walking out. You saw him walking out? Yeah. I didn't see him walking out. I thought he took like a sideway. Yeah. And then he was... made some rude comments to some people. Or oh, somebody, yeah. no, somebody that was with him made some rude Somebody comments. that was with him, the mayor, was making rude comments to the supporters that showed up. I think they called him a loser or whatever. They're the losers. <laughs> you lost, mayor. A big loss for the mayor, Berwyn police, city officials, and the state's attorney, but a big win for constitutional rights and, of course, for Sean Paul Reyes. Kudos to Reyes, Long Island Audit. He and his huge community of supporters are educating police and public officials across the United States and making more citizens aware of our rights. The victories keep coming, and Reyes may not be through yet with Berwyn, Illinois, where he could still bring a lawsuit for civil rights violations. Legal experts say the suit would be compelling. The lesson in all of this is that despite awful cops and ignorant public officials, the Constitution still matters. And with the help of judges who follow the law and concerned citizens who are knowledgeable and polite, our constitutional rights are being vindicated. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.